What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword Shield, hopping onto that rank double add for Series 9. And ladies and gentlemen, you guys already know the deal. We got ourselves another amazing team to show off for you guys today. Today, we got ourselves a Galarian Articuno team alongside with Weakness Policy Glacier. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. We're on the road to 10k subscribers. So I thank everybody who subscribes to the channel, everybody who likes the videos, or anybody who just tunes in and watches these videos. It really does go a long way. But this team today was sent in by my boy Drew. Drew, shout out to you for dropping this team in my Instagram DMs. Guys, if you want to leave me rental codes, leave them in my Instagram DMs. That is the best way to get to me. If you guys do not have Instagram, leave them in the comments section down below. I'll try to get to them, but... Easiest way is my Instagram DMs. That's why I tell you guys to leave them there. But rocking out on this team, starting off in that top left corner, we have Azumarill over here. And this Pokemon is a great physical attacker. It's water and fairy. It's got huge power as his ability, so it gets a huge damage boost. It also has Citrus Berry as its item, so we get a little bit more HP when we fall below half. We got Play Rough, Liquidation, both for our stab moves, Aqua Jet for first turn priority, and we got Belly Drum rocking on this thing. So if we can get Belly Drum off, we can set up with this Pokemon and just sweep battles left and right. Right next to him is going to be Porygon 2, who's going to be a big part of this team, considering this team is rather slow. We also have Malwak, Glacier, who are very slow, so they're going to work well in the Trick Room, which is Porygon 2 provides. We got Download as its ability, Evo Light, so it can soak up some shots, Ice Beam, Trick Room, Recover, and Eerie Impulse, a fairly normal moveset for Porygon 2. Middle left, we got, uh, what is this, a Lolan Malwak. I was going to say Galarian, but I remembered it's a Lolan over here. It's from Gen 7. Cursed Body has this ability, Thick Club, to get that jam damage boost. Fire and Ghost type with Shadow Bone and Flare Blitz both for stab. Blah. Can't really speak right now. I don't know what's going on. We got Bone Meringue for its coverage move, which is ground, and then protect as its final move. Right next to him is going to be a great support mod for this team, and that is going to be Amoongus. Amoongus has Regenerator ability, so we get some HP when we swap out. Focus Sash so we don't get one tap. We got Clear Smog to change up some stats. Spore to put Pokemon to sleep. Giga Drain for our stab attacking move, and Rage Powder to protect our ally Pokemon. Bottom left corner and the bottom row is just our powerhouse squad right here. We're going to get started with Glacier in that bottom left. Chilling Nay, weakness policy. Do I really need to say more about this Pokemon? You guys already know what it does. High horsepower, close combat, heavy slam, and icicle crash. That normal moveset for this amazing Pokemon. Final Pokemon is going to be Galarian Articuno. The reason I picked this team today because I haven't shown off this Pokemon in forever. And I feel like it's a really cool Pokemon and it's very viable in the meta as of right now. Competitive as its ability, so if they have Intimidate Pokemon, we're going to try to get this Pokemon rocking out here. Try to set them up, get them special attack boost, and roll off from there. we got Cobra Berry so we can soak up some shots. Freezing Glare, Hurricane, Trick Room, and Imprison. So if we don't want Trick Room happening, we can Imprison with this Pokemon. And then we got Hurricane and Freezing Glare, both for our stat moves. Guys, if you want to try out the scene for yourself, not the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on to that ranked double ladder. Try to get some wins with Sclarian Articuno and Weakness Policy Glacier Team. Hopping into battle number one, we're going up against an off-meta team. Thank the Lord, getting this video started off strong. This guy has a Jigalgy team. That is an awesome Pokemon. I absolutely love it. It is Poison Dragon type. And I made a video on him once. I definitely want to get my hands on another team with him on it. He also has the Tapu Fini, the Rotom Heat, Weavile, Clefairy, and the Kartana. Okay, does he have any taunt? Any taunt with any of these guys? Maybe with the Weavile? I think you can taunt with Tapu Fini, but I definitely want to get off Trick Room here and get rolling from there. So I'm going to go Porygon 2. I might lead the Azumarill. Or I might just lead the Glacier. Go Glacier, Protect Turn 1. Bring in Articuno. And then in the final spot, Azumarill? I mean, he does have the Kartana. He does have the What's Called, who's pretty solid too. The Jugalgi and the Rotom Heat. And the Azumarill does counter off both of these. So I think I am going to bring him in as the final spot. Rock it out because he's kind of, he's like mid speed. He's about 60, 70 speed. It's not like too slow where it just like dominates in Trick Room, but it's not like super fast where it's just like Trick Room's not up. He's out speeding everybody. I think Azumarill rides that middle pretty well. But guys, the Nintendo E3 Direct was just released yesterday by the time of this recording. And in my opinion, I it really was disappointing to me. I was waiting for like an absolute banger of a game to be showed off, like uh, like a new Mario game or like a new Donkey Kong or Mario Kart 9, something along those lines. Just announced something big, and they never did. They just showed off games that we already knew was coming. But that leads me to the question of the day, and that is, what are your guys' thoughts on the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel, considering I think that was the best thing for the Nintendo Direct. That trailer looks phenomenal, and I think that game is going to blow out Breath of the Wild 1. Like, I think that game is going to be top tier in Nintendo and be the best game on the system. But he's going to lead this uh, Top of Finny and the Weavile. So I am going to uh, Trick Room. I think I just protect the Glaze here. He does have Fake Out. He does have Fake Out, so I actually might just hit here. I might just send a hitting move. 
Because he could just fake me out. Let's see what he does. Let's see what this guy does. We all, yeah, we all can definitely fake out. I think I'm just gonna hit up on one of these fools. Downloads coming out here. Let's get after it. Definitely faking me out, right? Yeah, I'll go for. I, I mean, I'll try to go for a trick room. I do not have protect on this thing. Why was I saying to use a protect? I'll go for a close combat. I think I'm just gonna go for a heavy slam. Hmm. We we'll go for a nice crash, but it's not very effective on me. I think heavy slam is gonna be a play. Over onto the Weavile. Probably trigger the sash, right? Here comes the fake out. There it is. Kind of saw that coming from a mile away. And the taunts can come out here as well. So that's totally fine. He's gonna taunt me up. No trick room for me. Here goes my heavy slam. How much damage are we really doing here? Bringing out the sash. Like I said. Okay, so we sash this thing up. We've been playing really good on the rank double ladder. We really have. The last video we used scissor, and he was amazing. He really was amazing. We got a perfect record and we dominated the battles. Uh, we're just gonna ice beam try to take that out, and I think I'm just going to uh Maybe just heavy slam across here. I could swap. I do have the Articuno in the back. I could swap the Porygon. Hmm. I really, I, I, I am going to want to get off this trick. I don't really see the top of Finny doing too much damage on the me. I'm just going to heavy slam over into the slot. I think it's going to be the play for us. He's going to withdraw the top of Finny, which is totally fine. So bring out somebody heavy slam can do work onto. Let's see. It's going to be the number of time he, which I, I'm fine with. I do have Azumarill, who's probably going to be my Dynamax choice now. He's going to Surf now. Is that proc and policy? Or are you just using Surf? I'm confused here. He's proc and policy. Okay, so he's going, to, he's going for that policy proc. This will play by him. Let's see Let's see how this one plays out for him. Ice Beam's going to drop. He's going to be able to take out the Weed Boss. So he does a swap into a weakness policy proc, which is decently smart. We just got to see how much damage we can get off on this, uh, on this thing with Heavy Slam. Probably not too much, right? Let's see. Do him dirty. Yeah. What a play by him. What a play by him. Okay. So, I think he's just going to max flare onto me. I could swap my Glacier as of now. He might just bring out the Tapu Fini again. Let's see. If it's Tapu Fini, I might swap my Glacier. Or it's Kartana. Ooh, that's tough news. I don't like where we're sitting. I do not like where we're sitting. How much, uh... How many turns left in a taunt? One. Hmm. What? Hmm. I don't know what to do here. This one's tough. I don't want to swap you. But into who? Like, that's that's my question. He is definitely going to take out my, uh... I'm going to go for an Ice Beam here. And I'm just going to swap you into Zoom Rail because I think a Max Player is coming. I think, I think that's going to be our play here. This has a lot of Pokemon to counter me right now. This Kartana and this Rotom Heat can just run me. And it's really scary. That's why I really want to try to get off this trick room. Wish is going to swap back. I think we're going to see a Dynamax from the Rotom Heat. We know his other three Pokemon. We know his other three. Or his other Pokemon. We know all three of his last Pokemon. There's a Dynamax from the Rotom Heat. And no, I don't want to lose battle number one. That could be tough news for us. But I want that winning record. I really do want that winning record. We've been playing so good on the rank ladder. We have perfect record in our last video. If you guys haven't checked that one out, definitely go check it out. We rocked out with Scissor and dominated three battles in a row. But like I said, he Dynamax the Rotom Heat. He's definitely going for a flare onto the Glacier slot, which is now a Zoom Rail. And Kartana protects, so yo, I dig that turn a lot. I really do. You going for the flare? Yeah, there's the flare. Okay, I really do like that turn. I really, 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 really like that turn. I might double up into my Porygon now. And oh man, my ice moves or my uh, grass moves. Not my grass moves, my water moves aren't going to hit as hard now. But we have to go for a Trick Room. Like that, that's our play. There's our play. Ice Beam comes out here, and he is protected. There's my taunt, gone. Probably going to double up into me. I am going to go for a Trick Room. And what do I do from here? Liquidation? Probably your best bet would be a Liquidation. So I was going to go for the Aqua Jet, but I think he's just going to double up into my Porygon anyway. So let's see. Hopefully we can eat, but I think a fire's just going to come in here and just take it out in one shot. And then he's just going to go into a leaf blade and pick up the double kill. Really tough turns for me. But if this Trick Room gets up, we have a big shot at winning this battle. Let's see what. Let's see how this plays through. Leaf Blade comes through. Yeah, and he's doubling up into me. We eat that first shot. There's no way we're eating up the player, right? He gets a crit. Yo, get out of my face. Get out of my face. There's the player. Later, Porygon. Told you he was going to double it down. The Porygon does not eat. 
I wonder if he was able to eat if he didn't get it first. I really do wonder. Liquidation comes out here. Do a decent amount of damage. Not bad damage right there. And we get that drop. And we get the defense drop. So maybe an Aqua Jack can take out. I said we Dynamax this guy right here. I mean, he does have Lightning. I can't guard this turn. Which I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, Dynamax. I am going to send the Max Guard with this guy. Block that Max Lightning and just drop an Aqua Jet. Right, that's gotta be play, right? That's yeah, Dynamax. We gotta go for the guard. We're trying to outplay and win this battle now. Aqua Jets definitely gotta come in here. We gotta get off some damage before this uh this Azumarill does go out to this Kartana. Because we know Kartana's just gonna slide through, take out him, probably take out Glacier as well. With a smart strike. It's gonna be super effective. But if we can eat that up somehow, then we could be sitting good. But he's gonna get a boost. He's gonna get his beast boost. See how this plays out. I think he's gonna try to read the guard. No, this is a solid battle. Not a bad battle. We are definitely at this advantage here. These Pokemon are just like they're just counter my Pokemon so hard here. They really do. There goes my Dynamax. Galarian Bird. Can we get this one off? Can we do it? Can we clutch it up for you guys? I don't know. This one this one's looking real tough. Looking real tough. I'm hoping this Aqua Jack can come out and just KO this Rotom Heat so we won't have to worry about it next turn. That can be big. That can be big for us. So let's see how this plays out. Let's see, Aqua Jet's coming through. Well, there goes my max guard first. He is minus one on defense. Here's my Aqua Jet. Does this KO? No, it does not. Dang drought. Definitely helped that thing out like crazy. And the Leaf Blade flies through. Picking up the KO. Giving him the beast boost. Saw all that coming all day. It's another... Yo, what is up with the crits? Is this thing scoped? Is this thing scoped? He is just running. I don't have a guard on my Glacier, which is tough. Lightning comes through. Hmm. Do not have a guard on my Glacier, man. That's real tough. Maybe he's going to uh, think I'm protecting. I, I'm not rolling protect on this thing. <laughs> I'm not rolling protect. So hopefully, hopefully he'll think I'm doing it. But he has two heavy moves coming into us. I think maybe we can eat up a Thunderbolt. I don't know. He's, he's policy proc. We can go for the airstream here. Try to get some speed boost. Can I go for the high horsepower? I can drop an icicle crash, but... Hmm, what do I go for? I said we just go for the close combat there. Go for the air airstream. I think airstream should be enough to take out. And we get speed. Actually, we won't need speed. I'd rather get this... No, he's going to switch terrain anyway, so... We're going to go look for the speed. I'm going to drop this close combat onto this Kartana. And hopefully we can pick up some KOs here. Let's see. Barton is definitely going for that Smart Strike, and I think that is going to be able to take out my Glacier, no problem. Let's see. Yep, there's Smart Strike. Eat it up! Eat it up! All day! Oh, he eats. He eats. He stays alive. Hold up. Hold up! Wait a minute. Get after it, boys. We outspeed. Airstream KOs. Close combat should KO. Come on. Give it to me. Give it to me. If this KOs, if he's not sad, it's GG's. It's GG's. Let's see it. Show it to me. Show it to me. Close combat connects. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. We got this one in the bag. It is over with. He has no Dynamax. We have another turn left with a Glacier. And we have two turns left in our Dynamax player in Articuno. That is huge. That was a huge eat up by Glacier. That was enormous. Are you kidding me? Yo, I don't know how that happened, but, yo, we take those. <laughs> he was plus one, dude. It just shows how, how insane Glacier is. He was plus one. That's stab. That's super effective. And he's still not taking me out one shot. We eat that up. Proc policy. Take him out. And this guy's probably furious. He's probably so mad right now. I'll just go for another airstream. Try to get some more speed for the squad. And we'll just drop a high horsepower. I think that's our best bet. A little bit of high horsepower, baby. Run it. You gonna cancel? Does not cancel. Really protecting. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. We want this win. We want this win. There goes the airstream. How much damage are we doing? Not a lot. I still think we're sitting fine here. Uh, do I? I think I changed terrain after this. We have speed now. Glacier could probably outspeed his top Finney. He's plus two, so. Guy's doing whatever he can. Try to get that win. 
that sunlight did help him out tremendously because that uh that Rotom would have went down way sooner. I think we would have been like easy win without the drought, but we still are able to pick up this win, no problem. And, yo, we don't have another turn in our Dynamax. I really did think we did, but I guess we don't. Now, what would be better? Hmm. I think high horsepower is a little bit better. Can't use our stab moves. They're not very effective. I think we should be fine. Freezing Glare's popping out here. Get after it. Do him dirty. Yo, dude, that move looks so dope. Give me the freeze, too. Give me the freeze. Show it to me. Muddy Water's flying through here. Ooh. Ooh. How much damage is this thing going to do to my Articuno? The yeah, Articuno is able to eat. He does take out Glacier. Which I'm surprised he outspeeds me with. I would love to go for his Hurricane, but I just don't think it's the play. I don't want to risk us missing it when we have a move like this. And all we got to do is eat up a shot. Eat up a Moon Blast from this thing. And the reason I did think we had another turn Dynax is because we guarded the first turn, and I totally forgot about it. But here comes another Freezing Glare. Should be able to do a decent amount of damage. Should we KO? We don't KO. He has a Berry. Can we, can we KO the next shot? I really forgot about this thing's Berry. I think we can KO the next shot. Moonblast coming out here. We just got to eat, right? Eat it up. Oh, he gets a drop. Are you kidding me? Okay, I got competitive. That's game. <laughs> I was going to say, is he going to win up, up against this drop? Now we know this Freezing Glare definitely takes out. We're plus one on special attack. This thing's 100 act. There's no way this thing avoids this shot. Get this thing out of my game. He's not getting a lucky win on us. We want this win. Give it to me. Might protect here. Don't protect. Don't, don't, don't protect. Battle was canceled. There it is. GG. One and early gets this video started. Second battle coming at you guys going up against a Venus Rhetorical Sun team. And this one is honestly going to be so tough for me. Because if I go into Trick Room, he can run us with that Torkoal. But if I go into not Trick Room, he's going to run us with that Venusaur and with the Tail and with the Whimscott. So, tricky situation here. Hopefully, we can pull off this win. This will be a very big win because it guarantees us that winning record. And this team is straight meta. Like, this team, just look at it. This is like the most meta Venusaur and Torkoal team you can get. Um, I might want to go in the Belly Drum here. But again, the Venusaur is just looking scary. He really is. This is just looking scary all around. And then he gets a drought on top of that. I don't want to go into Articuno here. And you, because I can potentially go into a speed boost. Then he can re lead Regilecki. Oh my lord. Hate this game. Hate it a lot. Um, Just, just tough news for us. It really is. I mean, we could try to get off a of Trick Room. And if he goes for any eruption, we're dead. I think he's going to lead that, uh... I think he is going to lead that, uh... What's it called? That Torkoal and Venus combo. I really do see that happen. I am going to bring in Glacier. And I think Azumarill is going to be our final Pokemon. This is the same squad we brought last time. It might be. Did we lead the... Did we bring the, uh, Amoongus? I'm trying to think. I totally forget. But, dude, this one's tough. This team just counters us so hard in every aspect. Well, my plan is for him to lead the Venus Rhetorical. We'll see. Does it happen? Show it to me. Show it to me. He does not. He does not. He does not do it. Not even close. I'm going to go into these two. Okay, so I can see a taunt coming in here. I was thinking of just airstreaming and then just sporing. I could Rage Powder. But he could totally taunt me, right? It could be a thing. I spore you. I'm thinking I can, unless he's goggled. But do we really think he's safety goggled? That's my question. I could trick him with you. That might be our play. I think I am going to rage powder and drop a trick room with this bird. Maybe have the sink tailwind and have him airstream over onto him. Let's see. I'll try to rage battle. I was gonna go for the speed boost, which might have been the play. Let's see what he does from here. Pawns can come through. Okay, I'm with it. I don't think he's expecting the trick room from this Pokemon right here. Barry Wrath comes out here. My Cobra Berry is coming out here. Big news for us. Big news for us. And we're able to eat all day. All day. Trick room pops. And now we're getting after it. All right. Now we're getting after it. I am taunted, though. I might just go for the free swap. 
and get my regenerator ability out here. Um, what could he go for? We go for the airstream. I am gonna swap in the glaze here, and I think I just uh drop a freezing glare. Where do I go for the hurricane? Hurricane could be big damage. I'm thinking of seeing Sash, so I might just get after it this way. Or do I risk it? No, we're just gonna go for the freezing glare. Because if he's Sash, we can just take it off like that. Let's see. Withdraw this thing. We have a regenerator, so we're gonna come back with full HP later. Glacier is popping, and if Glacier can soak up shots, we should be sitting fine. I think he's gonna go after my Articuno. Okay, he's gonna withdraw you. That's fine by me. And who are you gonna send out? Stock attack. So maybe we can get a freeze on this thing. He's gonna try to cancel out my trick ring. Here's my freezing glare. How much damage are we really doing on this thing? Let's see. Give me a freeze on this thing. Give me a freeze. Give me a freeze. I never get a freeze with this. Never. There goes Fiery Wrath. That might take out my boy here. If it's not, I kind of wanted him to go down there. Uh, okay, now I'm going to Dynamax you. Go for that Hellstorm. Which I am going to do. I'm going to take you out. You might protect. Or do I double down onto Stockataka? Stockataka's looking scary. I think he's going to try to get rid of Trick Room. I think I'm going to still Dynamax him. I mean, I'm not policy proc, so I think I think Hailstorm and going after his bird is the right play. Um, I'm gonna imprison Trick Room. I'm going to imprison Trick Room now, just so he cannot do it. Yeah, yeah. Now we're doing that. He's okay. He's signed Max Bird. I think he's going for a guard here, and I'm just gonna imprison his Trick Room. Oh no, he's Dynamax and Shakadab. Rough call for me then. Rough, rough call for me. Dang, man. Should have just went for a freeze glare. Imprison Trick Room's gonna do nothing. I was thinking he was just gonna go for a Trick Room. But he is slower than me, which means he's faster than me in the Trick Room. Takataka's coming out of here. He's trying to clutch up with him. Um, who else do I have in the back? Did I bring a Zoomer Rail? I think I did. I think I did bring a Zoomer Rail. Which is nice. Still have my boy. I hope that this, uh, my Glacier is able to eat the Steel Spike that he has to offer, which I think he should be able to. We got our policy proc. Right? We should be able to eat this. I'm thinking 100%, right? Yeah, easy eats. We got our policy proc. We can take out this bird one shot. Uh, we can go for the freezing glare here. We'll get rid of this bird. Kind of hoping that the bird is actually has Sash right now. Let's see what happens here. Here's our hailstorm. Bird is gone? Or is he Sash? Let's see. He's gone. I was kind of hoping he was Sash to take out my Articuno because I really don't want my Articuno in here anymore. I would rather have my, uh, my what's it called out about my Moongus. That would be really nice. So, you know, get my boost. And he's going to be able to take me out next turn, so I can guard. I was just imprisoning. <laughs> I was looking to imprison that trick room. I thought he was going to go for one. Buffets of the Hail is flying through. I wonder if he's going to bring out, uh... I really do wonder who he's going to bring out. I have two turns left in my Trick Room. Well, not my Trick Room, in my Dynamax. I think we have three turns left in Trick Room. He's going to bring... Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hey! What are you doing? That's tough news for us. Real tough news. <laughs> I don't like that one bit. I can't, I can't guard. I don't have guard. We're dead. This will quake up into him. Oh, man. That's rough news. That's pretty much GG from here. It's pretty much GG from here. Unless we get off some big sports and zoom rock and clutch up. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Even if we didn't in prison, I feel like we were still losing this. He had that Sakataka. Sakataka came out at the perfect time. Was able to run through. He goes for a knuckle. We end up eating. So the thing is, does Glacier outspeed the Torkoal? I don't think he does. In the short term. Let's see. If he does, we, we could be sitting pretty deep east here. And he does not. Eruption coming out. Easy double KO. And Torkoal's just going to run us in battle number two. I told you guys this one was going to be a tough one. It was like, okay, we get the trick room off, then he has like the Torkoal Sakataka that can just run us. And if we don't, then he's just taking speed to its fullest potential and just running us from there. I do have a Zoomerel and, uh, and my boy right here, Amoongus. Do I put to sleep is the real question. Whom do I put to sleep? I think, I think we got to put Torkoal to sleep. I think Torkoal has got to go to night night. Right? Torkoal's got to go night night here. And how many turns is left in Trick Room? That's, that's my real question. One. Do I go for a Belly Drum and just put a Pokemon to sleep? 
Um, I think we might just have to go for this belly jump. I guess stitch after here. What about going to sleep? He's gonna go for steel spike. Go over to Moongus. Goes after Zumarel. Eat it up. Alright, never mind. We're dead. We are dead, and we would have lost this one regardless. Because there's no way an Aqua Jet's taking out any of these Pokemon through the drought. I was hoping maybe Spore came out onto this, uh... This Torkoal, and then, uh... Sakataka was going there for my Moongus, but did not work out in our favor. And he's slower than us anyway. Dang, dude. I would think a Moongus is slower. Torkoal's just... I told you. Torkoal's just the best tricking Pokemon on planet Earth. We did have that Sash. Like, that, that could have worked out, but it did not. Did not work out in our favor. Not even close. Not even close. GG to this guy. We're going to end off going one and one in our first two battles. I'm going to run this battle. Just cancel it out. Hop into the third and final battle. Look for that winning record for you guys. Third and final battle coming at you guys. We got to keep the winning record streak rolling. This guy has a Cinderace team alongside with Rillaboom, Weavile, Arcanine, Gastrodon, Storm Dream Gastron, I should say, and Competitive Milo thing. I think he's going to lead the Weavile, get a fake out. I definitely want to try to get off Trick Room here. Does he have anybody who can taunt? Doesn't really look like that. Um, it could lead a Zoomerel. A Zoomerel is really not bad here, but then he might lead the Rillaboom. Hmm. I don't want to do this. We're going with the Rage Powder. Do we? Can we Rage Powder a fake out? I mean, say he fakes out, I can definitely just like, go for a Spore and put a Pokemon to sleep for free. Not bad play. Just trying to think of what I can do here and how I can play this one. I think we're gonna lead these two. Gotta bring in the Glacier. Um, I could go in with a uh, Rage Powder and Belly Drum. Doesn't really have too much speed here, which is nice. But then he does have that Grassy Guy, which is looking a little scary. I really want to try to get off this Trick Room and then uh, roll in the Articuno. Hmm, what's Jeans want to do here? I mean, we might not even need uh, two of these support mods. I think we're just gonna roll into maybe uh, switch all to you, switch all you. I think I kind of want to pose a decent threat with Azumarill in the front slot. Or, you know what? Let's go Malwak, Glacier, and Articuno. That's going to be my play. Because I can always protect with this Malwak turn one. Maybe force, like, a shot onto me and then get off this Trick Room. But we'll see. I definitely want to bring Malwak in this battle. Because he's a cool Pokemon all around. I think he's dope. He's Ghost and Fire. Which is a cool typing. I, I, I don't think I can name another Ghost and Fire type besides him. And Chandelure, and Chandelure is amazing. I love that Pokemon. I gotta get my hands on Chandelure team as well. But he goes in with uh, Weavile and Cinderace, and I think he's just gonna drop a fake out onto my Porygon 2 slot. And then try to get after me. Maybe with a high jump kick. We'll see, and I might just uh, might just get after him. He's definitely Sash with the Weavile, so I gotta watch that. We're gonna do that, and then I think I'm just gonna I think drop a Flare Blitz, or I couldn't just go for a Shadow Boom. What do I wanna do? I kind of want to do damage onto the Cinderace. We could get a defense drop here as well. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to see how much damage we get up on the Cinderace. He might Dynamax it. Okay, he's just going to withdraw the Weavile. I'm with that. He's going to go in with Arcanine. Thinking I'm going for the fire move onto him, which I am not. Intimidate comes out. That's pretty strong, though. And I think we get off a free Trick Room, which is huge. There's no way he's taking us out. Cinderace going for a Headbutt. A Headbutt? Oh, he's going normal gem headbutt. Oh, this guy had some going for some strategy here. That's not affecting me too. Oh, yo, look at this dude. Look at this dude making plays. We get off our trick room, which, which yeah, yo, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm liking this. I'm liking our trick rooms out and about. Um, let's swap the Borgon. I think I'm just gonna go for an ice beam onto him now. How much damage I can do, and just drop a uh, shadow bone over onto you, or I can go for flare blitz. What's my play? We do outspeed now, so I think, think doubling up in the Cinderace isn't a bad call. Let's do it. Let's run it. Let's double up in the Cinderace. Try to get after this Pokemon. Boy, what's coming through? I think it's normal typing now. Get him! Get him! Get him out of my face! Get him out of here! This is weird, dude. Headbutts and Master Ball? I feel like I've been bursting so much off meta in Master Ball. It's just been throwing me off like crazy. Let's see this one. Ice Beam's gonna slide over here. Do we get the freeze? Free. Snarl's gonna pop, which is totally fine. I mean, I'm physical attacking. I'm just gonna leave Malwak in until he goes out. I can always recover with Porygon and kind of rock out from there. Or eventually swap out. And if he brings out a special attacker, I'm just gonna Eerie Impulse it and go from there. I think Weavile's coming back out for the fake out. we we'll definitely see that happening. Let's see it. Nope, Gastron coming out here. And this is gonna be his Dynamax mod, which is totally fine. I'm just going to Eerie Impulse all into it. 
Let's do it. Let's rock it out and then just drop a uh, Shadow Bone over onto you. Or I could go for a Bone Meringue. Not bad. Go for the Bone Meringue. See if I can take this thing out. We are minus one. It's not Stab, but it is super effective. Double hitting move. Let's see. Muddy Water's going to pop, and that's just going to KO my Malwak. Totally fine. We have Trick Room rolling. I think we're just going to uh, end this battle right here by bringing out Glacier in the Trick Room. It's going to be GG's, I think. I think your boy's going to get that winning record for you guys. Your Impulse popping out here. Dropping it down. Dropping it down. And it's weird that this electric move can hit this Pokemon. Like, most electric moves, it's not like it doesn't affect them. But I guess because it's a, uh, a, a stat changing move, it can do it. I'm not sure how that works. But what do you just do? Snarl again? I think I just recover and just start pestering around. I think that's going to be our play. I should go for a fire move, but I'm going to take that thing out in one shot. And I am going to get a nice, lovely little recover onto this thing. And then just drop a Max Quake and say, Arcanine, out my face. Get out of here. I'm kind of hoping he goes for a Flare Blitz. I feel like it'd be easy eats for a boy. And uh, we could proc that policy. Yeah, this battle's where it's at. He's going to switch to Weavile. All right. Weavile coming out here. Final Mon. Going to be super effective to him as well. And it's going to bring him down to the Sash, which I'm totally fine with. But then I know my Porygon's going to be slowest. We're going to be able to outspeed. I can drop an Ice Beam. Finish that thing off and start getting after the uh, Gastron slot. And I wonder if he's going to Dynamax that Gastron. Like, who's who's going to Dynamax? I think he's trying to waste out this Trick Room and then Dynamax to Arcanine. Which could be his best bet. But at the same time, I, I feel like we're still sitting pretty here. Buddy Water Pop and Easy Eats all day because we your Impulse that thing. And here goes my Quake. Get this thing out of my face. Get him out of here. Oh, another winning record coming at you guys? This thing is Sash. Knew it was Sash. Getting after him. There's a Sash. We're going to see a Fake Out Pop. I think his big mistake was swapping that Weavile turn one. He should have just went for the Fake Out and roll from there. We were able to get off a free Trick Room and rock out from there. There goes my Recover. And now we're fully set up with the Trick Room team. And you guys know how hard it is to play up against a Trick Room team that's fully set up and just sitting pretty. But I can Recover. I have the advantage all around here. Drop an Ice Beam there. And then uh, could go for Seal Spike. Could go for the Hailstorm. I think Hailstorm is going to be our best bet. Give a little bit of stab boost here. Let's see what he does. Is he going to cancel? Just cancel the battle. Give us the win. You know this one's over. What are you doing? He's withdrawing again for the Intimidate. That's all he wanted. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. Ice Beam's going to fly over there. This guy's just trying to pester me out. Won't allow it. Won't allow it. I might swap again next turn. Muddy Water coming out here. Get the Gastron's done. It's doing nothing. Gonna get an accuracy drop. That's that's a little rough for us. <laughs> a little accuracy drop on us. Elstorm's popping. Built. Doing a decent amount of damage. Intimidate did help that out a little bit. And I wonder what item this Gastron's holding. It's been popping. And Arcanine avoids. Our accuracy is doo doo. <laughs> Buffets are flying out. Um, do I swap now? I could swap. No more Trick Room. I am gonna go for another Trick Room. Might as well, you know? How about my Glacier? Good swap again. Buffets won't take out the Weavile. And I'm just going to go for Quake on this slot. I'd rather get off as much damage as I can into Arcanine. If he swaps Weavile, then we can, uh... Then we can just take it out. Well, Arcanine's really the only Pokemon that's posing a big threat to us now. Considering he still has Dynamax. He's probably going to send it now. Yep, there's a Dynamax. Okay. So there's Dynamax. Um, I think we should be able to eat up this flare, no problem. And I think he's just going to proc policy. I, th I think we should be fine here. I really do think we should be fine. If we eat up this flare, it's, it's, it's genius. Which I think we should be able to. I think flares can come through here. It's going to be easy eats for your boy. And there's the flare. And eat it up all day. All day, eat up. We know Gastron's doing nothing to us. We know Gastro is doing nothing. So we are going to go plus one, considering we were minus one. We probably going to proc. It was two. Put us up to plus one. And we're probably not going to take out this thing, but we have Trick Room popping again, which is dope. So we know we're going to outspeed next turn. We quake, maybe. So we did play this one decently well, trying to stall out. Oh, this thing's gone. Get this thing out of my face. Get him out of here. He played it pretty well to kind of like saw out that Trick Room and then go for a last ditch effort with the Arcanine, but it just did not work out in his favor. A certain Glacier is just so tanky, you're not going to one-tap that Pokemon. And he's going to one-tap you over this week as policy is, uh, is proc'd. Chilling Ace boosted, we're back up to plus two. 
Get this guy out of my face. Cancel this battle. Cancel this battle. Your boy keeps the winning record streak rolling. He keeps it rolling. Just as I thought, maybe this video we were going to lose it. We did just fine. We did just fine. The first battle, it's looking a little rough, but we had that clutch up with the Glacier. He was able to eat. We were able to win that one. Glacier, we showed off him once again in this battle. And we, at least we got to show off the uh, Glarian Articuno here as well. I did really like that Pokemon. I think he's a cool all-around Pokemon. We got the Dynamax him in battle number one. Battle number two, we got a few hits off on him, but we ended up losing. And this battle, we're just not showing him off because Glacier is just overpowering the whole squad. <laughs> But I think he's going to cancel. If not, we're just going to send an Ice Beam over onto you. And then get off an Ice of Crash, which should be able to pick up the KO as we are plus two right now. But it does. There's the cancel. Winning record for you guys. My main man, Drew. Thank you so much for dropping this team. I absolutely love it. We were able to pick up a winning record and dominate the Master Ball tier with it. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, please smash that like button for me. If you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.